hope you can see my feet, okay? Now I'm standing, uh, heels together, all right? And now I'm going to demonstrate suriyashi. Okay, suriyashi is basically, okay, goes like that, okay? Can you hear the sound of uh, friction? Because we, I'm sliding on the mat, okay? That's suriyashi. And it is easy on the mat, okay, on those kind of mats. It's very hard to do it on the uh, uh, floor, wooden floor, especially the wooden floor is finished, right? Uh, but, okay, this is how you uh, grasp uh, this, uh, the feelings of sliding, okay? If you just go like that, okay, slightly up, your toes on the floor and go slide like that, you can start feeling the dust, the dust between your toe and the floor rolling. You can start feeling that. Okay, that's how much you should lift your toe. Okay? Both toes actually. When you do kendo, toes, I mean heels shouldn't be on the floor because it's very hard for us to move. Okay, we have to make really, uh, we have to make a move really quickly. Uh, so heels should be slightly up all the time. I know I told you that uh, your left heel should be always up, but when you move, your right heel should be up too. Okay, so it makes your footwork smoother. Okay, and when you want to learn, when you want to improve your sliding. Uh, okuri, uh, not okuri yashi, uh, suriyashi, okay, footwork, okay, make sure you feel the uh, dust rolling on the floor, uh, or rolling on between your, your toe and the floor, and then you just go, first, first just slide and walk, we call this ayumiyashi, okay, ayumiyashi is walking, but in kendo we slide, so we slide walk, like that, okay, back. Okay, we always uh, from there, and then you can kind of feel uh, how the suriyashi should be done. Okay, toes on the toes on the toes should be up and not short. Heels should be up and toes on the floor. Okay, like that. Okay, practice this. Okay, and then, all right. Okay, and then we move on to the kendo footwork. The mainly we practice this. We call this basic footwork, okay, okuriyashi. Okuriyashi is, okay, in kendo stance, right foot usually is the front foot and back foot is the left foot. The left is the back foot, okay. What we do in okuriyashi is we push our body forward with the left foot, like this, okay. We push, okay? Remember, we kick the floor, okay? We deliver our body forward with the left, this left kick, like that, okay? Forward, and then snap it up, snap up the left foot, boom, like this, okay? Important part, don't drag your left foot up, okay? Dragging is bad. As long as you don't do this, all right, you just go snap it up and then forward. Back two. Back. When you go backwards, okay, you use the right toe. Push your body backwards like this, okay? Push your body backwards. Forward. Okay, I'm not dragging the back foot or the front foot. When I go backwards, I'm not dragging the front foot. When I go forward, I'm not dragging the back foot, right? Palm, palm, palm. Eh? Okay, this is called okuriyashi. Okay, the left foot never passes the right foot. Okay, that's the difference from uh, ayumiyashi. Ayumiyashi, you can walk. Okay, okuriyashi, on the other hand, you have to keep the back foot behind the right foot. One, two, one. Okay, and however you move, you back to this uh, basic position.